subacute sclerosing panencephalitis, also abbreviated SSPE. An SSPE's clinical scenario is as follows. A child will develop measles, which is a common childhood condition, it's a rash, and some years later, on average about six years after the patient develops measles, the child will develop this progressive fatal brain disorder. Now SSPE is very rare, but if it does happen, it is almost always fatal, unfortunately. In terms of the symptomatology and presentation, what will happen is that you'll have a child that appears normal that will undergo initially a deterioration which initially is described as behavioral changes, the child being described as being forgetful, and a decline in performance in school. But later this progresses to much more serious symptoms and those include myoclonic jerks, ataxia when the child walks or attempts to walk, seizures, muscle rigidity, and muscle spasticity, and this can also progress to blindness and dysphagia, difficulty swallowing. So as you can see, it's a extremely serious neurologic condition. Diagnosis involves an EEG, since this child has developed seizures, brain imaging such as a CT and MRI, which will show cortical atrophy in the brain. In particular, it will show white matter lesions. The cerebrospinal fluid is also examined, and it will show high levels of antibodies. And in particular, it is the anti-measles antibody, IgG. The prognosis of this condition, unfortunately, it is almost always fatal within one to three years of diagnosis and therefore the treatment really is just supportive care and anticonvulsants to help control the seizures. So let's take a look at a couple vignettes. A seven-year-old girl develops behavioral changes and her performance in school begins to deteriorate. Several months later she develops a seizure disorder, ataxia, and focal neurologic symptoms. She is eventually quadriparetic, spastic, and unresponsive. Death occurs within a year. This patient may have had which of the following viral diseases at one year of age. This clinical scenario is describing a young girl with SSPE. An SSPE follows some years later after a measles infection, which is choice C. An eight-year-old boy is taken to a pediatrician because of behavioral changes, mild intellectual deterioration, and laziness. Over the next several months, the boy develops increasing clumsiness and periodic involuntary jerky movements every three to six seconds. Visual deterioration is apparent upon visual field testing and optic atrophy is evident on fundoscopic exam. CSF studies do not show significant pleocytosis, but Oligoclonal bands of IgG are present on CSF electrophoresis. The EEG shows periodic discharges that are synchronous with the periods of myoclonus. CT of the head shows low density white matter lesions and cerebral atrophy. At the age of 10, the boy dies. Prior infection with which of the following agents was probably related to the patient's condition? Again, Another case of SSP, and they're asking which childhood medical condition this child most likely had, and the answer is measles, which is choice A.